हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एल जी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फिजियोथेरापी वेलकम टू पी एन एफ सीरीज एंड लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ पी एन एफ एंड बेसिक प्रोसीजर्स फॉर फैसिलिटेशन बट इन बेसिक प्रोसीजर्स वी हैव फिनिश टील वर्बल कमांड सो इन दिस लेक्चर विल डिस्कस अबाउट विजन ट्रैक्शन and approximation then stretch and timing and patterns so let's start with vision vision that means the feedback from the visual sensory system and that can promote a more powerful muscle contraction example is when patient looks at this his arm or leg while exercising it a stronger contraction is achieved and using vision helps the patient to control and correct his position and motion so the visual feedback this vision is uh, related with the your visual sensory system that will provide the visual feedback visual sensory feedback and by visual sensory feedback we can control the movements correct the movement we can control the positions and even we can improve the motions by this procedures next is traction and approximation traction and approximation traction that literally means to elongate and approximation that means to compress so here start with the traction traction is elongation of the trunk or or body part or an extremity and traction is used to facilitate motion especially pulling and anti gravity motion add in elongation of muscle tissue when using the stretch reflex resistance is resist resist the some part of motion by traction so these are the use of traction and meaning of traction next is approximation so approximation that means something is like to compress or giving a compression so approximation is the compression of trunk or extremity approximation is used to promote stabilization is used to facilitate the weight bearing and contraction of anti gravity muscles it used to facilitate upright reactions is used to resist some component of motions so basically this traction both the traction and approximations is used to stimulate the proprioceptive or proprioceptors of joint which improve the stabilization which can improve the or which can facilitate the motions next is stretch the stretch stimulus occurs when a muscle is elongated and the stretch stimulus is used during the normal activities as a preparatory motions to facilitate the muscle contraction the stimulus facilitate the elongated muscle synergic muscle at the same joint and other associated muscles next is timing timing that means the sequencing of movement or sequence of motions the normal movement requires a smooth sequence of activity and coordinated movement requires precise timing of that sequence functional movement requires continuous coordinated motions until the task is accomplished so by timing therapist should use the sequence of motion and by that therapy should use the stronger muscles to strengthen the weaker muscles by irradiation by the transfer of energy from stronger muscles to 
weaker muscles for example if persons want to drink a glass of water so in that case if person have weaker biceps then we can use the stronger muscles of our hand and shoulder flexors muscles so by that therapy should know or therapy should have the knowledge about the where should apply what he or she should apply the resistance and by that we can improve the movement in this timing we have to see the sequence of motion in what time the patient can complete the motion last one is the pattern so pattern of facilitation may be considered the one of the basic procedures of proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation so basically we have the a uh, pattern for the upper extremity lower extremity for the scapula for trunk and for pelvic so this all for the all body parts we have the pattern of pnf or proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation so in pnf again it can divide in d1 flexion and d1 extension d2 flexion d2 extension again further it can divide in symmetry and asymmetry so for all the for example for upper extremity we have d1 flexion d2 flexion like that for lower extremity for the trunk for the pelvic and scapula we have patterns so today we have discuss about the basic procedures for facilitation in that we have discussed about the vision traction or approximation stretch timing and patterns so vision traction and approximations stretch timing and patterns of proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation so thank you thank you friends